Our shockwave therapy medical center uses equipment from the Swiss company Storz Medical. What sets our equipment apart from all other shockwave therapy centers is the presence of three applicators, focused, radial and vector. The focused applicator, depending on the attachment we use, can achieve a penetration depth of up to 12 centimeters. This is when used on uh, large areas, for example, the knee joint or the hip joint. Specifically, the focused applicator allows us to break down osteophytes and salt deposits, especially in the early, more recent stages. We target these areas, the pain points, breaking up osteophytes and degenerative dystrophic changes in the muscles and ligaments, improving the trophic state. If we're talking about the knee joint, this means the menisci, ligaments and joint capsule, which gives the patient a chance at recovery. The next applicator is the radial one. Here as well, depending on the attachment, we use both the depth of penetration and the properties of the effect differ. For example, the ceramic attachment works very well for pain syndrome, swelling or any inflammatory element. Uh, specifically for this applicator, we have about nine different attachments which we use uh, depending on the number of procedures, the severity of the condition and uh, what we want to achieve. And the vector applicator is gentler and does not penetrate as deeply. We use it to treat muscles. If it's the knee, then it's the thigh muscles, the cuff and the lateral surfaces of the knee joint. In other words, uh, we stimulate and improve the trophic supply of the knee joint. During the procedure, we use a regular medical gel to enhance the interaction of the shock wave with the tissues, allowing for better penetration and smoother gliding. The procedure is performed in direct contact with the patient since it's necessary to locate and identify the main pain points and any fibrotic changes. That's why we ask the patient to respond when we find a specific point. Each subsequent procedure always starts with the minimum frequency and intensity and during the session these are increased based on the patient's sensitivity and tolerance. Is it tolerable? It's painless. Alright, then we won't increase it yet. Now we found uh, one point and from here we need to deliver a certain number of pulses. The next stage is the radial applicator. As I mentioned before, the depth of penetration also depends on the attachment we use. In the same way, we already know the main problem areas and we treat each point with a certain number of pulses to achieve changes there, let's say, at the molecular level. To repeat, we are breaking down fibrotic changes and particles of calcifications which are subsequently eliminated from the body. The procedure is also performed in direct contact with the patient. Is that okay? It's okay. In this procedure, we used only two applicators since this is not the first session and for each subsequent session, we also select the approach based on what is happening in the patient's body. Why do we do it uh, once a week? Because uh, changes occur over the course of a week. The patient comes in and tells us what has changed, whether the pain has gone away or appeared somewhere else, whether their gait has improved or their ability to bend and straighten and based on these symptoms, we select the specific procedure to be performed. When treating arthrosis, uh, regardless of its location, whether it's the knee or ankle joint, the course of treatment consists of five to seven procedures. Sometimes it can be eight to ten. It all depends on the severity of the disease. How soon after the onset of the disease did the patient come to us? Did they receive any treatment before this? All of this is determined individually. Mm -hmm.